Hey guys, welcome back. So in the last video, we created our first database, we created our first table, we inserted some data and did some select statement. Now in this video, we're going to be doing some analytics using select statement. So I will show you how to do basic analysis using select statement. So let's get started. Now, if you remember, we had this particular table. Let's go to table schemas. Inside the schema, we have tables and over here, we created a table name as teachers. We also inserted some of the data. So let's just uh, select the entire table teachers and just run this query and we'll see all of this data inside this particular table. Okay. Now let's query this table different way and analyze this particular table. First of all, we will do some kind of sorting. So sorting is basically using order by. So in the SQL, we have statement as order by. Okay. So just like select star from teachers, you just need to write order by. And there are two things. One is the ascending is basically from one to 10 or descending is basically 10 to one. So you just write DESC and you provide the column name that you want to sort based on. So let's sort it by the salary. So if we sort by the salary in the descending order, so the highest salary of a person or a teacher will come on the top till the lowest salary. So let me just run this particular query and you will understand the highest salary of one particular teacher is Lee Reynolds, okay, which is the salary of 65,000. And the lowest salary we see over here is like Janet Smith, which is like 36,200. And, and also this Samantha Bush is the same salary with the 36,200, okay. So this is how you start analyzing data and understand, you know, if you want to get the highest salary with one particular person is earning high salary or one particular person is earning lower salary. Now we can do in many different ways. So we can sort it by two different things. Let's say if we want to sort by school also. So school, let's sort it by school in ascending order. So from A to Z and the salary will be in the descending order. Okay. So as you can see over here, the school is in the alphabetical order. So F, M and R. And you can also see the salary in that particular descending order. So for this particular school, we have salary in this particular descending order. For this particular school, we have salary in this particular descending order. And this is the last salary. Okay. So as you can see, this is kind of like the grouping them based on the different school and then providing the highest salary in that particular school and the lowest salary in that particular school. So this is kind of like the, if you want to find in one particular school, what is the highest salary and what is the lowest salary? You can also use the group by and we will look the group by in the future videos. But in this particular video, let's understand the basics. Okay. Now let's understand how to filter data. So let's say you just write a select star and this particular thing returns all the data from the table. Now I just want this particular data from this particular school information. So you just have to write where school is equal to and in this in the single quotation mark, you just have to provide the school name. Okay. And you just have to run this and you will see, we just filter out the entire data and we are only getting the information about this particular school. This is as simple as possible. Now you can also do instead of school, you can, let's do the first name and let's provide the first name as uh, Janet and just run this. Okay. So you will get one information about the Janet. I, I can also do this uh, for, let's say, let me just pull out the record and I'll just do it for my name. So I will do the shell and you will see it will only return my record. So this is how you filter out different data. Now, if you want to do filter based on the date, so you can set higher date. And if you want to find out like teacher that got a hired before this date or after this particular date, what you can do is write different dates. So let's say the teacher who got hired before 2000 okay here and you'll see this is the teacher that got hired in 1993 now if i want that teacher that got hired after 2000 and these are the all the teachers that got hired after 2000 so this is as simple as as we can see so let's say if you want to find teachers with the range of salaries okay you can also do that where you just have to write where salary between there's a this is a keyword inside the sql between and you just provide the range of salaries so let's say between 40,000 and 65,000 okay and this will return all the salary that is between this particular range so as you can see we only we are only getting the salary which is greater than 40,000 until 65,000 okay so this way you can filter out different data you can also do that something like this let's say salary which is uh where where salary is greater than uh, 30,000 okay 
and as you can see you will get all these different records now let's say if i want only greater than 60000 just write 60000 and you will get that particular record so this is how we start analyzing different data and start understanding so this is very basic okay this is like the one line statement to filter out different data but in the future we will write more than like 100 lines of code even 500 lines of code to do some analysis on top of it but the basic starts with this by writing simple select statement once you are able to do this kind of select statement and understand what the data contains then you can write more complex query then you can do joins create window statement and all the other things to do analysis in more detail but this is where everything begins and i just wanted to make this particular video because this is how you get started by writing different queries most of the people jump onto advanced concept and don't understand anything and then they give up so instead of just going and reaching onto advanced concept let's go step by step and understand why you are using that particular statement so this video was completely focused on select statement now in the next video we will look about some of the advanced topic in the sequel so thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video